Sam Petroda is back as the Overseas Congress Chairman. Weeks after he resigned amidst controversy over his uh, alleged racist comments, the BJP has hit out at the Congress calling Petroda's removal just a poll gimmick, pointing out that the Prime Minister had in fact predicted that Sam will return after polls. In an interview to NDTV, the Prime Minister had said so. We are now joined by the man himself, Sam Petroda, joining us exclusively on NDTV. Mr. Petroda, really appreciate your time. Uh, you resigned from the post of Overseas Congress Chief uh, Mr. Controversy over your remarks that were seen as racist. Uh, your party had distanced itself from those comments then. What explains this return? I think it's not about what happened. It's about what needs to be done. We have so many different priorities at the Indian Overseas Congress that we need to move forward and not look backward. As you know, in 2024, there are important elections in many parts of the world. Recently, India election sent a very strong message from the people of India that we want democracy, we want our constitution to remain intact, and we really want to focus on the people's problems related to employment, related to inclusion, farmers' issues, inflation. And I think similar voices are rising and at the same time are of concern globally. Look at what happened recently in South Africa. South African people also spoke loud and clear that we would rather have a coalition government with compromises than authoritarian mm. government. Mm. Similarly, similarly, you have elections in US, you have elections in France, Germany. So I think it is important quickly to take the message that people of India have conveyed okay. that democracy is important. That message has to go global. That's one major task. In addition to worrying about the state elections coming and the role Indian Overseas Congress can play and strengthen the organization, expand our reach and build the institution. That's the task ahead of us. Sir, the BJP is saying that your removal was just a poll gimmick as you have made a comeback shortly after the election results. How do you look at this comment? It is not a question of poll gimmick. It's a question of I decided that I should take myself out and our leadership agreed that if I continue to say something, it will be misrepresented. I mean, Prime Minister himself started trolling on what I said. And I don't think it is fair, but that's Honorable Prime Minister's choice. Who am I to tell him what to do? So I felt that it is better for me to be out for three, four weeks because this will calm things down and people will really focus on the real issues of employment, inclusion, diversity, all the issues I mentioned. What happened at that time, no matter what I said, what twisted, lied, misrepresented, okay, by Prime Minister himself. For example, when I made a comment on inheritance tax, I did not mean that I am proposing inheritance tax. How do you come to that conclusion? And the whole nation followed that path. No one, including NDTV, came and said, Mr. Petroda, are you proposing inheritance tax? Or you are just saying, this is an example in the US. So I think media also played a role in false narrative, misleading people. And Prime Minister went all the way to saying, we will steal your necklace. 
Mangal Sutra. We'll take your bhaisa. I mean, that's obscene. Next time when I said something about my way of saying how diverse we are, people thought it was racial. There's nothing racial about saying we all came from Africa. It's a fact of life. And who says that being black is racist? No, I'm dark. My wife is not very dark, so what? So I think we tend to make issues out of nothing. And that's the reason I decided it is better to take myself out. If I stay in, no matter what I say, will be twisted. And it has happened many times. It has happened during Hua to Hua, which was also a completely bogus you know, argument they took. But media does that because Prime Minister gets involved. And naturally, if Prime Minister gets involved, it gets a lot of attention. I don't know why Prime Minister has to get involved in what I said. I'm oh, such an you know, ordinary person. You know, I'm not a politician of the highest order. I'm no I'm nobody. You know, I'm just a professional, you know. But but Mr. Petroda, uh, the statements or the comments you made did give a lot of ammunition to the BJP to attack the Congress party. I mean, but you see, the point is that doesn't mean you can't talk. Okay, no matter what you say, the shirt I wear, the you know, beard I keep could be an ammunition. Why should I worry about that? I can't worry about that. I have to run my life. I mean, they can twist anything. They can twist the fact that I'm living in Chicago and why am I you know, commenting on India? They can do anything. I mean, what kind of conversation is that? I would expect civilized conversation. I would expect dialogue that is more respectful. But we have lost that. We have just attacks after attacks on people. And this is what Indian media has turned out to be. People are not interested in substance of the conversation. They are interested in form of the conversation. It is okay for me to make mistake. It is okay for everybody to make mistake. Perfectly normal human experience. Okay, so, so you know, in hindsight, look at uh, you see, look at look at the contribution Sam Petroda has made to India. Don't look at what he said about you know color of uh, skin. How can you forget the contribution we made in telecom, IT, technology missions, literacy, immunization, knowledge commission, innovations? That is of no value. What is of value is one, one word that you want to twist. I mean, what kind of a mindset is that? You got to look at somebody's background. What have I done for 40 years in India? At what cost to me? Personal cost. I have never taken salary in India. Where and India is today in telecom, it's only because of the initiatives we took. All of that don't mean anything. Okay, but you can twist all the facts. So, it's their privilege. I have no argument. I have no complaints. That's the way they are. And I can't change that. And media also. No one in the media said, wait a minute. Look at Mr. Petroda's contribution to India. What he said here is irrelevant. But none of the people came forward. That's the environment we live in. Which is okay. So, uh, the questions okay. people ask also, all of you, are questions which are very twisted, very one-sided, trying to find petty stuff for personal attacks, never have anything to do with vision, never have anything to do with dream, long-term goals, values, character, Leadership. There is very little conversation on all of that. Conversation is what did you say, Tutu Meme? What did he say? Why did he say it? Why did he attack? And I think media loves it. I'm, sir, you know, sir, surprised. Since you say that your words were twisted, in the hindsight, do you think you could have chosen another set of words? No, no, no. Possible. It's okay. Possible. 
you know, I could have chosen another set of words. Yeah, it's possible. I have no issue with that. There could have been better words, but that's okay. It's not about words. It's about meaning. It's about your commitment. It's about your work. It's about your character. Okay? But uh, you are right. Maybe I could have done a better job. I accept that. Uh, my last question. Congress is now saying that they hope you will in future leave no room for controversy. Uh, what do you say to that? Stay Congress here. is not saying that. Jairam Ramesh is saying that. Okay? I am grown up. I know my responsibility for my party. I am committed to Congress. I have been a congressman from day one. And I will remain a congressman until I die. It has nothing to do with what I say, how I say, who I say. Or one interview or another interview. It has to do with my commitment to values. I believe in Congress values. I believe in Gandhian idea of the world. I believe in democracy. I believe in constitution. I believe in bottom-up development. I believe in truth, trust, love, diversity, inclusion. All of these things will remain. What Jairam says is Jairam's view. Okay, it is not necessarily party's view. It's okay for Jairam to say it. I respect that. I have to do what I have to do. In the process, I'm entitled to make mistakes. But my commitment to Congress party, Congress values, Congress leadership is something that is intact. I want to thank Congress Party President and Rahul Gandhi for giving me this opportunity again. I want to thank all my Indian Overseas Congress Presidents who were really very upset, very concerned about what happened. And we all have to move forward. All right, uh, Mr. Sam Petroda, really appreciate your time. Thank you for speaking to NDTV.